All right, everyone, get all your filthy swear words out now. Uh, too late. We're already recording. We're already in. I am. Uh, oh, oh, no. Bollocks. Butterfly. Author's notes. I have done it again. I'm right back at it. This is my third song fic based on another one of Mariah Carey's songs called Butterfly. Oh, God. This one is focusing on Malon's feelings for Link. How the relationship they had just didn't seem to work out. She's going to explain how they met and fell in love, but then it seemed that his love for her slowly started to slip away over time. Now it's been ten years since they were together. This is after Link's defe uh, Link defeated Ganon, but he did not go back in time. But it seems that Melon, now 28 years old, still feels something for him. She found it hard to let him go, but she does have. But does she have to let him go again, even though he has found and married another? Rated PG-13 for adult language and themes. Before we continue, I just want to say, God, this fu God, the fucking formatting. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, this is old fan fiction. I can't hold that against her. Oh. Disclaimer. Okay, I know I do not own Malon, Link, or any of the other Zelda peeps. They belong to Nintendo, though I wish I owned Link. He he he. Or, though I wish I owned Link. <laughs> Slavery? <laughs> but how I, however, do own Jenna and any other uh, chars in this story that are not found in Zelda. So... Don't use them without my permission. I'm just using Zelda peeps for my stories. Butterfly. A lesson learned in letting go. The sky was setting off tones of deep pink and lavender, the sun nearly fading from the horizon as Malon was ushering the last two horses into the stables for the night. It had been a long day, and she was tired. After she secured the last two horses into their stalls, she walked out of the barn, latched the door shut, then went into the house. Ingo was busy cooking dinner, while her dad, Talon, was upstairs getting cleaned up. She decided to go upstairs herself and clean up as well before dinner time. She went into her room and stood in front of her vanity and begun to brush her long reddish, bl uh, reddish blonde hair. Um, just red it's hair. Blonde. Thank you very much. She, she was not anywhere near blonde. Uh, Malon watched as the image in the mirror mimicked everything she did, right down to the twinkle that reflected from the crystal blue eyes. From, from her crystal blue eyes. She ran the brush down the full length of her hair, stopping for a moment after every few strokes. When she finished, she sat the brush down and proceeded to walk to the bathroom, when something caught her eye. There, on the nightstand, sat something that always gave her bad memories. She walked over to it and picked up the gold bracelet made with a Triforce links, tied with diamonds that Link had given to her when they were together. She gave the bracelet a scornful look as she uh, walked over to the bed and sat down. Turning the bracelet over, she read the inscription that was engraved in the underside. To my love, Malin, I love you always. Her face was hit into a scale as she remembered the day Link gave it to her. He gave it to her ju uh, just days before he broke it off with her. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Dick biscuit. Immediate turnaround on that whole I love you always well, thing. It's like, hey, here's some... Dick biscuits. They're, they're my favorite thing to suck That feels... Somewhat I really. love you always. Here, decide these divorce papers real quick, just in case. I love you always, except for when I saw the bill for this fucking bracelet. <laughs> yeah, here's some expensive jewelry. Also, uh, here on people. His excuse was that he felt uh, as, as if the flame between him, uh, between them, had slowly figured out, and that his feelings for her were just not the same anymore. After about you know, a, you know half a week, like <laughs> she remembered how long she cried that night. She practically cried herself to sleep. Then, for the next few days, it seemed as if her heart had totally fallen out of her chest. The feeling she had for him. The feeling she still had for him, lingering strong inside her. Every time she saw him after that, she would break down and cry. It even happened more uh, than once in the market, causing her to, uh, f to feel like a total ass. But she held strong, held uh, held on to hope that he would return to her, return to the love they once shared. When you love someone so deeply, they become your life. It's easy to succumb to overwhelming fears inside. Blindly, I imagine I could keep you under glass. Now I understand to hold you. I must open my hands and watch you rise. That shouldn't 
Why do you sound like Iago from a from the Aladdin Because I'm movie? trying to be Gilbert Gottfried because I don't want to sing a Mariah Carey song. Which would you rather me do? Would you rather me try to sing Mariah Carey or would you rather me do a comedic impression of just, Gilbert Gottfried? Just, just do a bad impression just of go, Gilbert Gottfried. Just go Gilbert Gottfried. Just go Gilbert Gottfried. I would prefer you sing, you sing it in the style of Morrissey. Uh. Because every you know, time we touch, might... I get this feeling, and every time we kiss, I swear I could fly! I'm not educated enough for the guy who talks about buffalo shit in his basement! <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, spread your wings and prepare to fly, for you have to become a butterfly! Fly abundantly into the sun! If you should return to me, we truly were meant to be, so spread your wings and fly, butterfly! Wow! Wow! Yeah. This is That's a, a four-star right there! Yeah. Good this job. is as subtle as a sledgehammer, to be honest. Mm. What? We usually how song fix are. Yeah, that's... Song fix are that's a bane to my existence. The minute I see there's a song uh, fix, I'm just like, I've written a song fix once. It is torture. I have no. never why heard of song fix why until this, and I'm... To, why would you it, even think of doing that in the first place, Raymond? I got commissioned. This is a brief, brief, brief exposition then. What's a song fix supposed to be? A song fix is a fic that basically steals the lyrics to a popular song and puts them in at... In, in, at certain points during the song in order to create emotional intensity but it doesn't really have that effect because you're not really listening to the song as you're reading you're reading then you're taking a break to read the lyrics to the song then you're reading again and it completely disrupts the flow of the fic and thus why song fics just typically do not work yeah i can as... tell and for the record my song fic when i wrote it it was i was my own lyrics like i made the song I actually like yeah. it, it was uh it was to Red Like Roses Part Two, it was to like that music, mm -hmm. but I decided to rework yeah. the entire lyrics for my story. And it was all integrated because one of the characters was a rock star and she was singing up on stage. So it was like th mm -hmm. that's that still so No it made sense for them to be yeah, singing. It was diegetic, but it was still like I, I still did not like doing it. I, I I had a bad time with it. She suddenly blinked, her head swarming with the thoughts of him. Her gaze returned to the bracelet in her hands as she pulled it close to her heart. Small crystal white tears trickled down her face as her uh, body shud uh, shuddered with uneasy feelings. What's wrong with me? Why am I still upset about the breakup that happened between us ten years ago? Melon asked herself softly. Is it that I'm still in love with him? Have I really not gotten over him? Oh, goddesses, this cannot be happening! Malin cried as she came to the realization that she indeed was still in love with Link. Oh, gods, why do I still have these damned feelings? He has moved on. He has already found and married another. I didn't feel this way when I sung for him at his wedding, but why the hell am L? <laughs> <laughs> the no, L. It's literally an L in it. Uh, feeling them now. Oh. Why just I why can't I seem to break free of these so empty funny. feelings still wrenching my saddened heart? She questioned herself again as she closed her big blue eyes and let her thoughts move to the day he called it to an end. Is this this doesn't seem healthy to keep thinking about a guy like this for 10 years? It, it, uh, oh, no, no, forget that. You sing at his wedding, after he broke exactly. up with you, three days after he gave you a necklace. What the fuck? She remembered it was a clear blue day, the sun high up as a gentle breeze blew through the uh, trees of Hyrule. A f messenger had come from the Kokiri forest with word that Link wished to speak with her, uh, with her, with the utmost urgency. At first, she thought Link was in trouble, but she soon realized that it was more than that. When she arrived at Link's house, who was 18 at the time, inside Kokiri Village, her worst no nightmare was about to come true. When she looked into his eyes, the eyes that usually uh, shimmered with a deep blue were now dull like ice. At that point, she could tell that she was going uh, to hear something that she was not going to like. Malon, I'm glad you're here. I have something I really need to tell you. She eyed him with a worried stare before he spat the words that were going to change her life forever. Um, Malon, I don't quite know how to explain this. 
I know that we've been together for quite some time now, but I feel like our love is not what it used to be. It was those words I'm that Melon knew that it was all going to end. <laughs> I feel that the flame between us has slowly flickered out over the last three days, and it's just not the same. I just don't think I have the same feelings for you as I once did. I hate to say this, but feel we should end this, even though... Even, oh my god, I'm losing my cactuar voice. Oh my god, how did that happen? <laughs> but even though that uh, will be there, no love interest between us, I still care for you as a friend. Maybe, just maybe, there could be something between us later in time. Well, I am I am radically losing that voice. How? I... It does sound draining over time. You, know, yeah. you can pull off for a long time. Maybe... You, sound more like, you sound more like Joey's deaf sister. Yeah. Well, not, no, <laughs> blind sister. Yeah, yeah. You sound like... Maybe, just maybe there could be something between us later in time. But just now, just not now. Those were the words she dreaded to hear, and it was those words that caused her uh, world to shatter around her. She took off crying, leaving Link behind her as he pleaded for her to come back, but she blocked them out and ran home. Her eyes flung Very open as she came way. back to reality. She looked down at the bracelet again. What the hell happened to us? Melon questioned herself. Why did he leave me so tattered and torn? <laughs> What did I, mean, I do so wrong that caused him to leave me so? Where did I go wrong? You didn't open your legs for him when you first met him. That's what happened. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this... Where did I go yeah. wrong? I do that to a guy. Don't, don't slander my boy like that. No, for, for the right. No, no, that's literally what happened in the uh, in, fanfic. In, in the other fanfic in my inner life. I left for two minutes. Miss... What did I miss? Everything. Everything. You missed the were greatest. You, were you not you here for my inner life? Were you not here for that? No, I no, I, no, I wasn't. Yeah, no. no it, most yeah, people, no. most of the, most of them weren't here for my inner life. It was only okay. a very few. Uh, uh, so just to clarify, a brief recap. This is a side story to another fan fiction that we actually the first fan fiction we read in here called My Inner Life, which is written by Link's Queen, and it's all about the girl named Jenna who basically comes oh, in that and. One. Yes, this is a side story to that, where, where she basically comes in, cucks all the women of Hyrule by marrying Link out from under them, and it's only, like, her and Link get to know each other a grand total of, like, was it one night before she's on her back? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Wow. Yeah. Oh! That is, that is that is an oh amazing description. That makes sense now. I nice. have learned that beauty has to flourish in the light. Wild horses run unbridled. Why are they unbridled? Who let the horses run like that? We gotta get the horses now. That's just really oh, annoying. The dogs oh, too. fuck. Or the spirit dies. You have to be given... You've given me the courage to be all that I can and truly feel your hot will lead you back to me when you're ready to land. Just make sure you bring a parachute this time. It gets very messy. We can't clean all that up. We will have no action. There will be no actual singing during the length of this, this song fic. I'd prefer Gilbert Godfrey over an actual attempt to sing these lyrics. Yeah. All right, I I, I was mostly joking about that. I'm, I, I consider myself a pretty decent singer. Um. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so all right, right. Right. <laughs> all right. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody right now. Mama just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pulled my trigger. Now he's dead. Mama, life had just begun. And that's where I hit my range. I can't do me yeah, in here. Yeah. Okay, all right. You are all right. My fire. No. All right. He, he, Destino. Destino. Chill it. Memories of when they uh, met begun to race through. Take a shot. Her mind now. Uh, it, it, there's a there's a running gag with her. She doesn't know proper language. Like she uses through as in like through a baseball for through as in through a tunnel. Um, uh, so the thoughts were yeeted across her mind. Yes, uh, she remembered it like it was yesterday. The memories of those days always tasted like heaven. Tasted like the sweet honey a bee makes.
as opposed to the the honey made by hippopotamuses. Wow. Um, she never forgot the day I mean... when they met in Hyrule Market at, uh, as ten year olds. She was so cute in his, or he was so cute in his green clothes and that blue fairy floating around his head. She even remembered that name she used to call him, Fairy Boy. No wonder he left. Yeah, it's it's, it's like no like yeah, Malon. You just you keep calling me Fairy Boy like. That implies so much. I I don't like taking it from behind, Malon. Please stop calling me that. <laughs> Malon, Malon, you're canceled. She never thought too much of him then, but something inside her snapped when he showed up at Lon Lon uh, Ranch seven years later as a fully grown, handsome adult. When she first saw him mounted on a pona, the first thing that came to um... mind uh, was that he was the one she met as a child, the fairy boy from the forest, but when she looked into his deep, eternal blue eyes... I added deep, I don't know why, my brain is already adding words. The eyes that He's made her uh, body swoon, she knew at, uh, at that point it was love. She remembered the long pause between them as they stared deeply into each other's eyes because he didn't have a voice at this point, and the stuttered words that soon followed. <laughs> and it was soon after that that they fell in Do love and got together. The love between them was strong, so strong that they even experienced sharing a special part of each other. She remembered the oh. first time they shared the most sacred thing that two people can share. She remembered it like it was yesterday. The feeling uh, left behind a certain glow around her. Uh, and it was uh, the feel of his lean, inf infatuated body naked against hers that left a strong feeling of lingering desire behind on her own body, leaving her with the longing to taste his honey once more. <laughs> Oh, honey. Sweet, sweet honey. My eyes and my ears. Uh, then it all <laughs> seemed to end in a blink of an eye. One thing she knew was uh, the happiest. One, one thing she knew, she was the happiest person alive. I... Then the next thing she knew, her whole world was crashing down on her. She got up off the bed and walked over to the mirror once more and stared into the image that was looking back at her. How could Link leave me so alone? She questioned the image in the mirror. Why did he abandon me? Her face, tw he, he face twisted into a scowl as she remembered the feeling after he told her it was over. He did this on purpose. I can see it now. He had to. I mean, what else could he have done to leave me so, so stricken and confused? It's not even that. He even once said that there might have been a, a chance for love again, a chance to rekindle the flame between us. But did I ever get that chance? And not gonna yes. go. I could totally see the the story you wanted to tell, where Jenna was some kind of weird, like brainwashing necromancer type deal. Because like, mm -hmm. like, oh, three days after giving oh, her a I will Sounds always awesome. love you type thing, like that's oh god. I thought, I thought that's what, yeah, I thought that's, 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 that's it's exactly why I was going yeah. to write that fanfic. Like it's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know, Link, Link is 100% a twink, but do you think, but do you think he's a top? No, oh, uh, in this fic, no. no. Huh. In, the, in this girl's head, no, he is oh, not. Oh, right, yeah, no. Oh. Fuck, I, yeah. I forgot, like, okay. she, she, she owns everyone. <clears throat> Here we go. Spread your wings and prepare to fly, for you have become a butterfly. Fly abundantly into the sun. If you should return to me, you were truly meant to be, so spread your <laughs> wings and fly, butterfly. <laughs> no, it's spread your uh, legs and fly. Oh, for the love of yeah. She shook her head. Jesus no, I didn't. Lord I never Almighty. got that chance. Now I'm left with nothing. Nothing but a broken heart. To this day, I've been asking myself, what did I do wrong for him to have left me like this? But I have to get the answer I seek. But maybe it was more. Maybe I have been blinded in some way. Was Link really that unhappy? Was I so blinded by love that I didn't notice he was slowly slipping away from me? Was I so caught up in myself I didn't see that the flame between us was slowly dying after three days? I guess I will never know. <laughs> but one thing I do know, I was ne negligent to his happiness. But even in the light of all that has happened, I still... I'm still in love with him. I've tried to convince myself I was over him, but in reality, I wasn't. Even to this day, I still long for him. The feeling to take, the feeling taking over my mind in every waking day. I cannot help the way I feel. It's not something I can just throw away that easily. Maybe I'm just clinging to a useless hope. Maybe I'm hoping for the impossible. But one thing I do know, I have been lost without him ever since that day, the day he left me so alone 
I can't pretend these tears aren't overflowing steadily. I can pretend, uh, I can't prevent this hurt from overtaking me, but I will God. stand and say goodbye, for you'll never be mine until you know the way it feels to fly. So spread your wings and prepare to fly, for you have become a butterfly. Fly abundantly oh, into the sun. If you should return to me, we were truly meant to be. So spread your wings and fly, butterfly. I am so glad I don't have to do that again. Ow. Bye. You need to throw it, Laws and uh, I actually okay. do have one right here. The life cycle um, begins as a caterpillar. <laughs> next, next, I should try and read all of... Uh, Fifty Shades with that voice, like God, God, God oh, yeah, next words, but I want to do the full shebang. You're God. going. You are I feel going like you die. would. I would feel like you would sprain your voice or. Sprain I your would. Voice. I would. I would basically destroy my throat. By the goddesses, I'm doing it again. I just don't understand it. Not at all. After all, if I am so disappointed in Link, then why can't I forget him? Why are these feelings still plaguing me? Sigh. Maybe it's just because I'm. Finding it is so hard to let go. To let go of the one person I truly loved. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's been Oh, I do years. have to do it again, shit. So, flutter through the sky, butterfly! God, how I'm going to miss those blue eyes. The ones that always twinkled when they stared uh, with them into mine. The ones that always shimmered with loving glances. Maybe I'm just fantasizing, but I will never forget these eyes as long as I live. Perhaps I've come to the realization that Link ne indeed became a butterfly and needed to know what it felt like to fly. Spread your wings and fly, butterfly. Perhaps since it did not return to me, then maybe we weren't meant to be. Butterfly. Well, what did you think? Oh, it, this is the eighth author. Well, what did you think? <laughs> Yay? Nay? Well, please tell Nay. me the spot. I'm dying Kill to me. know. I Ow. think I'm getting better uh, Better at these song fix. I'm kind of... I kind of find those to be easier ones to write, but I need input on just how good you think they are. Thanks. You know what? I'll take it. Like, like considering how bad um uh the Jenna one ended, I'll take it. I... I, I still, I still want to do the Bart Simpson strangle like, on this fanfic. It's not even alive, but I want to strangle it like Homer does with Bart. What the flip? Like this is, this is, well, don't get me wrong, but at least it just ended. The other one yes. just like, it just got so boring. So, All right. I'm not fucking she that, spelled but... input as impute. Yep. 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 <laughs> yeah, I. I don't even from the early 2000s. See, see, he's an Augie, when we were talking about it, this is like the kind of level of bad we're going for, where it's like, this is entertainingly bad. Um, it, it's not quite as entertainingly bad as the earlier sections of My Inner Life, where it got absolutely ridiculous, but it's... Because, it, it's dear God, My Inner Life. Yeah, this one had like cute little moments where you're like, oh yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. It's hilarious. I guess. Yeah. I, I'm just like, w what the balls is this fic? And she claims this is one of the easier fix for her to write? What? Well, that's because really it's a song fic, and song fix literally sucks. just require you to re write half of it. That's it. Because the song does all the heavy lifting for you when it comes to emotion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, media, when do you oh, get Oh, hi, here? media. Uh, I've been here the, the whole time just listening and playing Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, media was good the entire time. Same. <laughs> media, you were exactly same, but that I've kind been... of person that sneaks up behind you and just, oh, fuck! Like that, that. Uh, I have been told that. Just sitting silently in the corner, you get. Media's just plotting his revenge. Yeah. All right. Media learned <laughs> all anyway. his new skills from Naruto. He's the quiet kid in high school. Should we should we move on to Blood Raining Night, or do you want yes. to read? Oh, what? Please. Or do you want to read what? More. I want to read, I want Another to of her song fix. This time Undo from Do the slot. Um, set me forth. So well, long as you're the one doing the, Gober, the Gilbert Gottfried impression this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like it, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and be sure to share this video around to get that juicy YouTube algorithm going. If you're interested in becoming a part of Bad Fan Fiction Night, I host it every single Friday night at 10pm in my Discord server, The Tundra, where me, Fatman Falling, Dashy Lee, and a whole host of other members of the community are regularly active. If you would like to join The Tundra, you just need to donate $1 or more to my Patreon, which helps support the channel and keeps this content coming to you guys on the regular. We all have a wonderful time, and I would love to see each and every single one of you in there. That's all for now. I'll catch you all on the flip side.